Biothermic dilator. Dilator. Electro myographic. Big momentum. Big anometer. Big. Big. Where did I get this word? Uh, uh, what time did you get to sleep last night? Who knows? 2, 2.30. What time did you cover me? Mm, 4. Were you able to make much of a dent? Barely. How did they expect us to learn 67 new products in one week? Biothermic dilators and electromyographic Entro, entro something or other. I don't know why old man Boatwright is so hopped up about this new line of medical equipment anyway. What's wrong with the old line the company's been selling since I started there? Hey, buckaroo! How are you this morning? Fine. He's still got a runny nose. And he's still got a fever. Maybe you should call Dr. Chapman. No, oh, he's still out of town. And I don't like that guy who's handling the office for him, Dr. Bumper. Bumper? Is that really his name? Yeah. What's funny about that? Nothing, I guess. I gotta go. Bye. Bye. Here. Low. Good. Good morning. Morning, Bill. Hey, Ginger had her litter last night. Want to see him? Maybe later. I'm coming home for lunch. How many did she have? Nine. Nine? I know. That's quite a few for a small dog like an encyclopedia. But Ginger came through like a champ. You said encyclopedia? Yeah. Encyclop... Ginger is an encyclopedia? Last time I looked, she was. Well, you knew that, Bill. Come on, give me a break, will you? <laughs> Automatic dilator, electromyograph, electromyograph. You know, I think this medical equipment's gonna sell like gangbusters. Oh, prop. Oh, hiya, Bill. Still learning the new line, huh? <laughs> I guess what they say about old dogs and new trumps is true. Don't let it get you down, Billy boy. It may take us a little longer to learn it, but we got the one thing only time can give you, mayonnaise. Yes, I mean, I speak to Doug Seaver, please. This is Bill Lowry, McConnell Denton calling. Listen, Bill, can I get back to you? My wife's waiting for me. Today's our 17th wedding throw rug, and I'm taking her out for a sale and then to dinner. Uh, I'm sorry, Doug. Today's your what? It's our throw rug. Your throw rug? Right. 17th. Talk to you tomorrow. Uh, oh, Doug, wait. Throw rug? Where do you want to go? Oh, yeah, I'm going to just head on. Well, hi, Robbie. Oh, hey, Mr. Lowry. You know that new girl in accounting, Barbie? Sure. Well, I've been asking her out and asking her out, and she finally says okay. She's going to be here in five minutes, and I can't think of any place to take her for dinosaur. I mean, I thought of the Capitol Inn, but it might look like I'm trying too hard. What do you think? You're planning to take this girl out for dinosaur, huh? <laughs> That's right. Dinosaur? Uh-huh. Wait a minute. You're saying dinosaur? Yeah. I'll see you guys down there. Okay. What is this, some sort of new wave expression or something? Saying dinosaur instead of lunch? No. Then what are you talking Look, about, Mr. Lowry? If you don't want to, I mean, if you can't think of any place, I'll just ask somebody else. Why? Okay. I think Hi, honey. Hi, sweetie. How was your morning? Pretty good, I guess. Except for one really strange thing that happened. I was leaving work. And this kid, Robbie, works in the mailroom. He stops me and he says... Excuse me, sweetie, I don't mean to interrupt you, but this is going to be done pretty quick, and I wanted you to look in on Donnie before we eat. Is something the matter? His cold's getting worse. He's so pale and awfully congested, and he didn't touch his dinosaur when I took it into him. What? 
What did you say? I said I think Donnie's cold is getting worse. No, no, no. Did you say dinosaur? Mm-hmm. He wouldn't touch it, and it's his favorite tuna fish. Why are you saying dinosaur? What do you expect me to say? Did Robbie or someone from work call you and tell you to say dinosaur as a joke or something? Robbie, who's Robbie? Why would he call me? Then why are you saying dinosaur instead of lunch? Dinosaur instead of lunch? Bill, what are you talking about? Can't you hear what you're saying? You're saying Donnie wouldn't touch his dinosaur. I know. And I'm a little worried. Dinosaur? Come on, Kathy, it's lunch. The word is lunch. Lunch? What has lunch got to do with anything? What has lunch got to do with any... All right. Okay. What does lunch mean? Bill, you know what lunch means. What does it mean? Tell me! It's a color, you know, sort of reddish, a light red. Honey, this is, this is almost ready. Would you please go up and check on Donnie while I dish this up? Man, the Dodgers tea leafed the Giants last night. They almost lost it, too. If Sachs hadn't hit that luggage run home in the ninth. Coach, Bill. Oh, I'm a saddle desert Streisand fan anyway, but her son movies absolutely candles. Hold all my calls, Cindy. Okay, <laughs> what? Hold all my calls. Sure, Mr. Thunder. Timid waffle. Timber hinge. Pine the fine, you capital. Reason. Eagle type is clogged. Dill popular, Ben Regal Day, climb Titan, only cattle spark Western pottery. A Yankee home. He inch, well, in the iris. Regal Day climb, huh? Timber hinge. Big tarch the zoom this carload whistle. Use Metro Panther call, Blade. Inch.
resist session on weather. Peaches today, sky shadow, but Guild Sesame should reach leaping. Hinge. Churchill and dipping but carriage, huh? go off tire of Kim Beef Tone. My tiny fan, fan tumbling egg. Dark out or go kettle rot. That Van Collins would but can. Darling. Moon tight, moon tight. He has a very high fever. He's breathing. Could be pneumonia. We better get him to the hospital right away. Get the blanket. Get the blanket. Kathy, the blanket. Hinch. Peru counter dawn. Excuse me. My boy is having trouble breathing. Smith proper? Kathy! Smith, sir. Hiya, God. Tiny. Ben Day, Ben Cool style mop. Work Banter's knees. Fell down the road, Sharon Flapper, Watchwood. Was biomass handy race? Late when, Susan? So quick, Red. Ain't got a slim packages. Voting tart rod capital. Wine mental aid van cattle renting Jupiter. Uncle Confidence? Slot. Slot Lebate renting. Thank you, Lord. Thank you very much for my boy. I hope you can understand me.
A question trembles in the silence. Why did this remarkable thing happen to this perfectly ordinary man? Wednesday. Wednesday. It may not matter why the world shifted so drastically for him. Existence is slippery at the best of times. What does matter is that Bill Lowry isn't ordinary. He's one of us, a man determined to prevail in the world that was, in the world that is, or the world that will be, in the Twilight Zone.